everyone, and welcome to the third edition of ICRT's blog. Uh, this is the new segment that we're doing where we bring you a little bit of the entertainment and lifestyle news that usually doesn't make it onto the air and is good for our blog and you might be interested in. Very quick, very short. So uh, the first story for this week uh, is that researchers at NTU Hospital may have found a cure for baldness. And that's a huge advancement. This is an issue that affects a lot of men and also some women too. So basically these researchers were doing, were trying to find a solution for people who lost their hair due to chemotherapy or radiation therapy, people who have cancer, and then they found that they could stimulate stem cells to regenerate, you know, cells or uh, body tissues. And this also applies to hair follicles. And what they found was the animals that they tested it on, they regenerated uh, 70 to 80 percent of the hair that they lost after treatment. So it could be a possibly a cure, which is very exciting. Um, but unfortunately, they're saying that, you know, due to regulations, they have to keep testing and to keep developing this treatment. So it will not be commercialized until at least a decade later, 10 years later. So you may have to wait a decade. There you go. Okay, so everybody knows that at the National Palace Museum, there's this really famous piece called the Jadeite Cabbage. And this Jadeite Cabbage is basically like a, a piece of jade and it's like half white, half green. And then this artist, or this unknown artist, carved it into like a Chinese cabbage head and it has two little insects on it. It's like, like one of the most famous pieces. And so what's happening is this piece is going on display in Taichung for the Taichung Flora Expo. And this is the first time this piece has been displayed somewhere other than the National Palace Museum in the north. And so this is very exciting. Um, it's going to be at a special National Palace Museum display set up at the Taichung Flora Expo. So if you're in central Taiwan at that time, now is a good chance for you to see it in a different setting. Okay, and this is our last story for today. As you know, uh, the Full Moon Festival is coming up this weekend. It's a long weekend. Yay! And so what's happening now is the, uh, the Consumer Protection Administration, they did a test and they did spot checks to see how much the prices of mooncakes were rising, if they were rising at all. And what they found was that 27% of people or companies who make mooncakes, they did raise their prices. Um, but the good news is that most of these increases were less than 10%. So what that means is if you go out and buy mooncakes, which everybody does for Full Moon Festival, prices will be a little bit higher. And they're saying a lot of these price increases are due to flooding and you know rough weather conditions we've had in the past couple of months but not too bad so far and that's it for this week's icrt vlog we'll see you next week enjoy your long weekend oh but before we go uh don't forget to download our updated app or go to our updated website and check it out um if you're interested in getting a lot of news really up to date you know uh, a lot of the text you can definitely check that out that's one of the nice new functions that we have go update your app do it and we'll see you next week